So this is a request for Aurelio Marsili who asked whether I could do a video just looking from the back at how the um, simulator works. This is for the first time for a while that I've actually used the big simulator as opposed to um, VR so <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to this. Um, I'll go through the various checks, go through the flight and um, we're going to fly now from um, Liverpool, Echo Golf Papa Papa to uh, Manchester, Echo Golf Charlie Charlie using the White Chapel Waypoint the VOR so we go across and then take a, a left turn into Manchester and drop down uh, onto the runway and hopefully we get um, good clearance for, um, for the right runway otherwise we might need to do um, a circuit. Okay, so we uh, we turn the power on and see if we can get uh, ATIS. Liverpool information golf seventeen twenty Zulu winds are zero nine one at five knots. Visibility unrestricted. One thousand six hundred few clouds. Temperature seven dew point six. Current QNH is 1010. Arriving and departing runway 09. Liverpool Information Golf 1720 Zulu Wind Cal 091 at 5 knots. Visibility unrestricted. 1600 Q. So we've got Information Golf. Uh, QNH is 1010. We're taking off runway 09. And the wind is also at um, zero 09 at 5 knots, so that's pretty good. So we just need now to um, to do the final pre-flight check. So we're checking the seat belts, the fuel um, valve is on, uh, brakes are set, tested, circuit breakers are in. So we now need to move to start, so the mixture is rich, carb heat is cold, so it's in. Uh, prime, if it's cold, we need to prime a couple of times. Throttle is open quarter of an inch. Propel propeller air is uh, clear. Uh, we just want to get um, clearance to start. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra ready for engine start. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra engine start approved. Engine start approved. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. So I'll put the beacon on. Okay, about a thousand revs. Now we're ready for the uh, run up. We're facing into the wind. So we check that the brakes are on. Uh, run up around 1,900 revs. Left and right magneto. Back to both. Oil pressure green. Oil temperature green. It's a good thing when you do the checks not to say check because that gets you into the habit then of seeing what you're seeing and um, say what you see. So oil pressure green. Avionics on. Transponders on standby. Flaps are up. Okay, we're ready to get clearance. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra ready to copy. Cleared VFR to Echo Golf Charlie Charlie, maintain 1,900 feet, squawking 6563, Cessna X-Ray Golf Sierra. So we set the XPDR squawk code to 6563, and then we also want to set the um, ADF, the Auto Direction Finder, to uh, 368.5, which is the um, which is the setting for. Uh, the Whitechapel uh, VOR. Cessna X Day Golf Sierra ready to taxi. Cessna X Ray Golf Sierra taxi to runway 09 via taxiways Kilo, Alpha, Charlie. Hold short runway 09. 
Runway 09 via Kilo Alpha Charlie. Hold shot runway 09 Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. Okay, so brakes off. A little bit of throttle. Right rudder. Squash uh, back into those planes. Taxi down now to um, past the terminal buildings to uh, runway 09. Okay, so we're at the runway holding point. We just need to do the uh, pre takeoff check. So the parking brake is now set, cabin doors closed and latched, flight, clo uh, flight controls. Three, rudder, three, fuel shut off valve on, mixture rich, uh, trim, set for takeoff, magnetos, oil pressure in the green, oil temperature green, the radio set, beacon lights are on. Go to uh, one two six point three five. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra ready for departure. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra rate R zero nine and one at five knots cleared for takeoff. Runway zero nine squawk six five six three. Cleared for takeoff runway zero nine uh, squawking six five six three. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. Okay, so we line up on the runway and break off. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra, 500 feet or 1,900 feet. Okay, so we look at the um, the ADF indicator. I'm just going to take a right turn a little bit. Oh, 
over the Whitechapel VOR. Cessna X-Ray Golf Sierra request full stop landing. Okay, hope that was useful. That's all I've got for you in this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, then uh, please subscribe. If you liked it, then like it. And um, any comments will be much appreciated. And any other requests or things you'd like to see in these videos, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, and I'll catch you next time.